Praise God, praise God. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. I thought I would get on here before I start my class. Praise God, praise God. I'm going to wait till a couple of you of you get up on here just something real quick that god was talking to me about you know that we are truly that is our mandate you see a lot of people talk about mandates and everybody want to be so deep but it's really simple it's really simple are you prepared to deny yourself for others are you prepared to sacrifice for others are you prepared and what i mean by that will you walk that walk and talk that talk even when you go through let me go ahead and, and my subject is paul the apostles they all did it but paul you see the more that you are anointed the more you got to go through oh come on somebody that's a personal testimony who i understand that now i understand that thing the more you are anointed the more they come after you and when i say that i'm not just talking about human form i'm not talking about the elite i'm talking about spiritual wickedness in high places ephesians 6 all right let us continue all right Praise God, praise God. Paul's apostolic life and ministry in this message. Paul sees his own physical suffering and spiritual renewal. Spiritual renewal through our outer self is wasting away. Our inner self is being renewed by day. 2 Corinthians 4.16 As a presentation of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, Paul again and again hits on a theme that the weakness of his frame is designed to magnify the power of God's Come on, somebody. I'm going to say that again. The weakness of our frame is designed to magnify the power of God and God's name. That's why when you're weak, you don't have to understand what's going on. All you got to do is say, God, get, help me be strong. He says, through my strength, Philippians 4, I can do all things which, through Christ Jesus, what strengthens me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's who strengthen us. That's who give us the strength. That's who keep us going. He said, take my yoke and my easy for my burden is life. Is, is like, come on somebody, hallelujah. Let me continue. We are inflicted in every way, but not crushed. Oh, come on somebody, hallelujah. Perplexed, but not driven to despair. That's why you can't let the enemy get you depressed, oppressed, suppressed. That's his main object. And he'll send anybody or anything. You don't know. And, and hold on. I don't see this as if I'm all that. You, you guys do not know the spiritual warfare. Hold on. I encounter daily. I can tell you a few things that happen. Oh, okay, I, I'm going to break it down for a little bit. When I'm doing my orders, there's always three or four people. Now, hold on. Ain't nobody that prophetic that God going to tell you I'm doing my orders. All of a sudden, oh, I didn't get my order. I personally mail out those orders and I double check everything. You dig it? So I know. And I have my tracking number. But you know what I do? I go out and send it. But then they get irate like they're trying to fuss with me. I say, oh, you're a plan. I've been calling them that. So you're a plan. Be careful taking that money. Oh, I'm going here. Be careful taking that money. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell y'all something else that happened. I don't mind telling y'all because, and hold on. I'm not telling y'all to say, oh, woe is me and oh, I feel sorry for her. No, 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 no. I'm telling you the warfare. This has happened twice, by the way. And also, I want you to know for when it happens to some of you or people that you know, you'll say, oh, prophet is going through that. Last night, I paid my credit card bills at 12 o'clock because I had to wait till June the 1st. Because, you know, sometimes you overpay, so you have to wait till the next month sometime. So just listen to me. So I know I had my wallet in my purse. I didn't go out the house. I don't go out late at night. I just don't, unless it's an emergency. But I didn't last night. I woke up this morning, and I was looking for my wallet. Wallet was not in my purse. I'm like, you know, I remember this happening before. Same technique, same thing. The Holy Spirit said, go look in your car. Right there on the seat where everybody could see. Now, I know you all don't know me personally. Some of you do. Do you really think Deanna Dixon will leave a wallet in the front seat of a car so somebody could bust the, the windows and get the... That's them people saying we could touch you if we wanted to. We all know that. Why don't you try walking on water? Impress me. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, somebody, because I ain't scared of you. But this the stuff. This just a few things that I go through. You see, but I'm about to tell you what Paul went through and what anointed people go through to make sure you get through. Come on, somebody, full of power of God. We got to go through that to make sure you all get through. Go through. Make it through. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I just said. Let me continue. 
And I'm going to start back over. I'm, I'm with Paul. The title of the message is, Who Would Deny Themselves for Others? The Apostle Paul did. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always caring in the body of death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. Hold on. That was so powerful. Caring the death of Jesus in our body so the life of Jesus could be in our body y'all ain't ready for me Jesus knew what he had to do even in the garden of gifts enemy he said he said not not my will but thy will be done we haven't got to that point the, the church don't mind that Jesus died but you got to understand it's our turn hallelujah it's our turn I'm gonna say it again it's our turn and it may not come the way you want it because I'm gonna be honest with you, you got a church that don't want to go through none y'all want to be a star just, just, just want to be a star I'm going to be real with you. Ministry is gully. That's why he chose me. And, and y'all know that by now. Hey, I come from the streets. I ain't even going to lie. But I have an education too. Don't get it twisted. Now I know why God chose me. You got to be gully. What's gully? What is the definition of gully, prophetess? It's going to get dirty. It's going to get real dirty. It'll make it back up. But, but I got something for, to tell you something. You know how you stand up to them bad boys? You got to get anointed. You got to get that word. You got to know who Jesus is. You can't do this in the flesh. The flesh you're going to run. In the flesh you're going to fear. In the flesh you're going to tear. In the flesh, hallelujah. That's why God say, in flesh cannot please me. Because you already know you can't, you can't even stand up to the devil in flesh. But if, if you are in spirit, then Luke 10, 19 is for you. I've given you all power, all authority. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me finish this because I didn't got excited and I got to go to class. Hold on. Hold on. Let me go. Let me go. So in the body of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus, in the body of death of Jesus, that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. For who we live are being given over to death for Jesus' sake. Did you just hear that? Jesus died for us, now it's our turn. You got a church that don't want to die. You got a church that's scared of demons. Let's continue. So that the life of Jesus may be manifested in our moral flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. So don't you see? Every leader born to die. Oh, come on, somebody. But it's who you touch on the way out. Because it could be just a word. Just one touch from God. Just one touch from a servant of God. Because God will touch them to touch you. I'm going to say it again. God will touch them to touch you. Hallelujah. This stuff real. You can't make this up. Hallelujah. Do you see what Paul's saying? His being beat and beguiled, a beguilder and picture of Jesus dying, his endurance and perseverance, perseverance I'm sorry, is a picture of the resurrection really of Jesus' life. Paul's suffering and sanctification are designed to be walking advertisements advertisements for us that's why God allowed Paul to go through that because Paul knew that some of us uh, uh, actually a lot of us are going to be very anointed and when you are anointed you are appointed and and you're going to go through more things let me tell you what Paul went through first of all I want to give you the simulation between the dying of Jesus and the resurrection life of Jesus afflicted in every way but not crushed perplexed but not driven to despair persecuted but not forsaken. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Struck down, but not destroyed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Paul saw the purpose of his suffering as it means to meditate, manifest, and magnify the resurrection power of his Savior. So every time he suffered for you, Jesus, it doesn't matter. Though you slay me, I will trust in you. That's what Job said, too. Job was a, Job was a very good servant. Come on, somebody. Let's continue. We see Paul's radical other sitting in second corinthians 4 15 as he talks about why he endures such pain it is all for your sake so that as grace extends more and more people it may increase thanksgiving to the glory of god paul was willing to endure credible hardship as long as it means more grace leading to more gratitude to leading to more glory for god that's how we got to start looking at it oh god why am i going through this it's for his glory. Oh God, why have I been through this? It's for his glory. Why do people mistreat me? It's for his glory. Why do they act like that? It's for his glory. That's what you got to start getting in your spirit. It's for his glory. It's not about me. It's for his glory. Let me continue. In 2 Corinthians 11, 23, 28, Paul reluctantly recounts and resume of suffering, which included imprisonment, countless beatings, and near-death experiences. I promise you I feel like a Paul. 
And I, I, I ain't even exaggerating. I think some of you already know. Because one thing I've learned, and I'm learning, the Spirit tells people business. I don't have to even know you. Some of you have been praying for me because you already know. You know what I, you know. All right, let me tell y'all all what Paul went through. And I got to get up off of here because we got to go to class. He was whipped 39, he was whipped with 39 lashes five different times. And y'all know them cat of tail, nine tails. And I don't think they used that on Paul, but he was whipped. That was their real raw. He was beaten with rods three different times. He was pummeled with stones one time. They tried to stone him to death. He was shipwrecked three times. Adrift at sea one night one day. Journeys frequently. Dangers from rivers. Dangers from robbers. Dangers from his own people. Shut your mouth. <laughs> That's them plants. Hey sister. Hey brother. Get about my face. And I'm going to pray for you. Judas. Because you know what happened to Judas, huh? <laughs> Get out of here. Y'all ain't ready for me for real. But that money will make them do it, huh? Every time. Every time. I truly believe that that's why he gave him his heart's is out. He knew Judas was about that money. I'm going to let you do it, God said. Let me continue. Dangers in the city. Dangers from, from the Gentiles. Dangers in the wilderness. Dangers at sea. Dangers from false brothers. I got nothing to say with that. Tall and hardship, sleepy nights, many. Hunger and thirsty, often cold and exposed. The pressure of anxiety for all the churches daily. And yet, given his radical, God centered review, Paul calls such suffering as light and momentary. How many of us have went through half of that, and yet we, I won't go through no more. In this last hour, my mandate is to equip you and strengthen you. Period in the story. Start applying pressure to Satan and his kingdom. How do you do it? You get more anointed. No, we're not perfect. We're going to all fall. Sorry. I'm going to tell you that right now. But give God the best that you got. Hallelujah. It don't matter what nobody else say. It matters what he say. Give him the best that you got. Get into your word and serve him the best that you can. And watch God bless you. Not just monetarily, but watch God bless you in anointing where you can lay hands and the sick will recover. For real, it ain't going to be no sham. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I got to go, y'all. But I just want to get up on here real quick. God bless you. Y'all know what time it is. Roll our soldiers, for that is truly who we are. Let's act like it. Let's walk like it. Let's talk like it. Let's be like it. I promise you in this last hour, full-fledged warrior. <clears throat> God bless. Ain't even playing. They thought I was crazy. Have no idea. Hallelujah.